Okay, so I've just finished a, a, a video of the cloth rigging uh, where I use this technique, uh, but I thought it was so worthwhile, um, you know, such a, I think, uh, a useful topic uh, that I would do a separate video on. So what we're going to do is um, have a morph activate uh, when two conditions are true. Um, so I've, I've made a little morph, uh, badly, of course, uh, of a flexing bicep and I've imported it in uh, just using Gozi of course uh, and now I want to activate it so I've put it under our arms here so we've got a bicep flex there and what I want to do is not have it so that somebody um, has a siren outside that's fun doesn't seem to be going away there it goes um, okay so what I want it to do is turn on when some conditions are true and in this case I'm going to take the forearm and when it's bent and twisted uh, to certain angles I want them the morph to turn on but I want both conditions to be true so to do that what we need is um, to convert those uh, rotations into values so what I'm going to do is in parameters with the forearm selected, I'm going to create a, uh, a <laughs> I'm going to create a parameter. So first of all, we're going to go into edit mode and then select the left forearm here and right click down the bottom and create a new property. And I'll call this uh, bicep bend controller so this one is going to activate when the bicep bends so uh, I don't want it to go below zero so let's put zero on there and we want to use limits and that's all good okay so that's uh, gone in there and what we need to do now is in edit mode it's right click and show in property hierarchy and then I can open this up and have a look at what I've got. So we've got controllers here and I want to, oh, now somebody's on their horn. So we'll see a road rage day outside my house today. Um, so we want to activate this when the bicep bends. So on the bend here, not the bicep bends, the forearm bends, uh, I've got this to bend to minus 87 and a bit uh, let's put it to minus 90 and now I want this to control this property so I'm going to drag and drop that into the add subtract now under add subtract we need to update the scalar so the scalar is basically you know how much it will advance as you know you turn up that dial and if we want it to activate at, fully activate at 90, we need this to be 1 divided by 90. Uh, so let me get my little calculator up. I'm sure it's here somewhere. There we go. Uh, I'm not very good at math, so you'll forgive me for using a calculator. So that's 0.1 more or less recurring. So I'm just going to copy that value. Whoops. There we go. I've lost my uh, <laughs> I've lost where I was uh, da, 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 da. I want the left forearm there we go okay so if I go back to show there we go and open this up and in controllers I want to open up the stage one and update my scalar value so this is a negative bend so or a negative rotation so we need this to be a negative number so it's negative and then i'll whoops that's not the negative button must be that one then i'll paste in my value i can see i didn't get the the uh the decimal there so let me just add that in whoops I'm not having a good day typing today there we go so negative 0 0.1 recurring 
we can now see that this bicep controller is at 100 percent so we've converted our rotation say 0 to 90 into a value of 0 to 1 and if i turn down this bend you should see that dial there adjusting as we go okay so let's put that to negative 90. okay so that's uh, one of our uh, controllers but we need a second controller to work out whether the forearm is twisted or not so we're going to add in a new property and this is uh, bicep whoops twist controller and again I don't want it to go below zero or oh, yep and everything else is fine so it's create now I've got my bicep bend and we've got our bicep twist um, and then we'll show property in hierarchy and now I need to uh, bind this with a subcontroller so I'll click and drag and drop uh, twist into controller one and then we'll work out the angle so twist is minus 90 well that's convenient no it's not on purpose I promise you uh, so we want our scalar to be uh, negative point oops that's not the uh, full stop <laughs> must clean my keyboard so I can see what's what there we go and now we can see that our twist controller here is set to 100% and if I back the twist off here you should see that's sliding as we go okay so now I know when they both are turned on because I have two controllers and they both say 100% so how do I communicate that to the the morph well on the um, bend controller I'm going to use that one as my primary I'm going to right click and show in properties we are going to add a second controller or a second uh, stage controller and that second stage controller will be our bicep twist and I'll drag and drop that in so the second stage controller will multiply the first by the second so each are zero to one um, so if I adjust either we're going to get a different result but both need to be one for it to be fully active so for example if I take bend and reduce that you'll see the bicep controller is moving and if I just twist you should see twist and the bend controller adjusting so let's put those two uh, back to our max on oh, 90 whoops not 900 uh, and all that's left to do is add a subcomponent to the left forearm now the subcomponent uh, is basically what we want to drive so this will drive the value of our morph so I need to now go uh, onto the figure where the morph is held so this is Genesis 9 and where did I put it it's under shaping and arms and there's my bicep flex just going to go into uh, edit mode no I'm not going to go into edit mode at all see I'm in shaping here and I need to be uh, in the parameters uh, so if we go into actor arms there's our bicep I'm in edit mode so I can drag and drop that into our first stage sub component and now you can see our bicep flex is on so just by using the forearm I can take the twist down and it's going to gradually ease that off or I'll take the bend down and it's gradually going to ease it off but if either is zero it's not going to do anything so now we have a um, controller which oops what am I doing that 
um, is going to turn that bicep flex on. If the forearm is twisted or bent to a certain extent, and then we'll get that morph going. So, you know, if you pose this figure, you know, just using a normal pose, as long as the forearm is bending and twisting, you're going to get that morph or some of it. You know, I've done it. It's a little bit of an extreme one, um, but you know, that's really handy. It's a really handy technique to be able to have two things driving one morph. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, almost anywhere you could do that. Um, for example, you could have a morph to, you know, um, flex the shoulders, you know, so as the shoulders move, move up, you know, then you activate a morph. Uh, you could have a morph where the eyes close, both eyelids close and you activate a morph. Um, all sorts of things, basically. <laughs> so I hope you found that useful. I hope that's relatively clear. Um, and I will talk to you again in another set.